Hi, I'm Arnie Briggs. I've lived in Marshfield for 54 years, and I'm sitting in one of my favorite spots, the Veterans Memorial Park. Now, I'm not a, a native yet. I've lived here 54 years, but I'm trying to work on that. And I grew up in Quincy, so I've always been part of the South Shore. And when I moved away from um, Quincy, and I went to Randolph, and then I went to Weymouth. And Weymouth, I graduated in 1953 from Weymouth High School. And at that time, uh, not having college on my mind or a job, I entered the Marine Corps. And the reason I did that was because I wanted to be in the Navy, but they told me, well, you've got nine months to wait, and I didn't have that much time to wait, so they grabbed me just like that. So three years in the Marines, and then uh, after that, I became a radio announcer at WMND in North Adams, Massachusetts, and then I became a scout executive for three years out in Oneonta, New York. So then I decided that I really would like to be a teacher. I finally found something that I wanted to do. So I had to come back and live somewhere on the South Shore. So then we had to decide where we we're going to live. This is my wife, Marsha, and my daughter, Betsy. We're coming back here to uh, Massachusetts. So uh, we decided after looking around here that we had the Marshfield Hills, which is a beautiful place. We have the beaches, which everybody knows about. Um, and so we have great restaurants here and we have great people here. We decided we're going to settle in Marshfield. So we bought a house at that time. And I was teaching them the whole time in Hanover, going from Marshfield all the time. The other thing that I like about Marshfield are the people. Having lived here 54 years, I know quite a few of them. Although I didn't teach here, but I knew a lot of the teachers and I knew a lot of the politicians. I worked on many of the political campaigns and it's just such a nice place because when anything happens in Marshfield, Marshfield, Marshfieldtonians come together. And if it's a catastrophe or if somebody's child has a, um, a disease that they're having trouble with or anything to have car accidents, people are always there to help out. And that's what I like about uh, Marshfield. It also has many types of uh, civic organizations like the Kiwanis Club, the Boys and Girls Club, we built a new high school, you name it, Marshfield always gets together and uh, pulls it off. Well, I'm quite active. Um, the Korean War Veterans Association here in town, uh, we're, we take care of our own members. We have great scholarships in the high school for Korean War veterans and their relatives. Um, so the seniors get a $2,500 scholarship and we passed out three of them this year. And we work hard for that, so the next time you see us at Roach Brothers or at Shaw's, and we're there with our pens and so forth that we pass out, um, this is how we raise our money. And we spend it here in Marshfield. And again, I'm active in politics all the time. I've been campaign manager for many of the Marshfield politicians, and so I have great admiration for any of those who, who run for a position and help the town out. I did that myself. I ran for school committee in 1973 and lost. For fourth out of fifth I came in. So I put it aside for a number of years and then in 2001 there were two openings on the school committee. One, the incumbent was going to run again and I wasn't going to run against her. But I wasn't even thinking about running. The other position was open and nobody passed in their papers. Uh, by the March deadline. And I said, well, that's ridiculous. Somebody has to run. So I put my name in. And the very same day, five other people put their name in. <laughs> but I got 850 write-in votes and won that election for three years. I earned up chairman of the school committee. That was one of my proudest moments here in Marshfield. After all the things that I've covered today, all I can say is I love Marshfield. <laughs>